Hey Divi Nation, thanks for joining us on day 64 of our Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a few simple CSS snippets to achieve unique section dividers for your Divi website. Let's jump right into it. If you'd like to follow along, you will find all the code snippets we use throughout this video as well as step-by-step -step instructions of 15 different section divider styles in the accompanying blog post which has been linked in the video description below. Okay, let's get into it. In this Divi Quick Tip, we're going to learn how to use CSS to achieve a vast variety of section divider styles. Changing the design of your website section can make your website look different, stylish and unique. As you can see on this page, I've created 15 different section dividers, each creating a different effect as you scroll down section to section. So I'm here on the page where I need to add the section dividers. So the first thing you need to do in step one is to navigate to the CSS tab. So all you need to do is to go to the section you need to add the effect on and click on this hamburger icon. So once you've clicked that, you need to go to the custom CSS. And then here on the after, this is where you need to add your CSS code. So all you have to do now is to just copy that code from the post and then paste it on this area. Now, once you've pasted it, all you have to do now is to save and exit. And then you need to click on update. And then once you've updated your web, uh, your web page, all you have to do now is to do a quick preview. So if I click on view page, this is where now you can see the changes. Now, as I mentioned before, all these effects can be achieved using those three steps. But you can, as you can see here, the code comes with different styles. So you have to make sure that you use different, uh, the different codes. Now, for some of these section dividers, you need to do a few customizations for this to work very well. So let me show you an example. So if I go into this, hamburger icon which is the settings and I go to custom CSS and then I paste this code what you'll find is um, by default it comes with its own colors so I'll click on save and exit and I'll just do a quick preview and show you what I mean so if I go and preview the changes you can see here that this is the default color that comes with it however you can actually go into um, the code and customize the color to make it look the way you want to look. So let me show you where to do that. So if you come back here and we locate the section, what you need to do is to change these colors here. So this is the first color you need to change and that's the first, second color you need to change. Now these colors need to match the background of the section. So for example here, I match the color with this background and I and I made sure the color came here and then for the um, color on the top here I made sure I change it to this so by doing that you can see that um, this effect really looks beautiful but by default these are the colors that come so you might need to do a few customizations as you work on these dividers and as you can see here as well uh, some of these work very well when you have two contrasting dividers. So here it really looks nice. So the next style I'm going to show you requires slightly different steps to achieve this effect. So the one we're looking at right now is the bottom curve. So to achieve this bottom curve, let me show you how to do it. So if we go into edit page, what you need to do for this one is you'd need to add a new section and to add a new section is quite straightforward you can just click here on um, standard section and what you need to do is to add a full width section and and then you need to add the text module okay so once you've uh, added the text module you need to add the code so this is the code you need to add and this code is provided in the show notes and also on the blog post. So once you've added this code, what you need to do is to click on save and exit and then you need to go on to role module settings and you need to make sure that you've selected keep mobile padding on for mobile and also you need to make sure that this is set to full width. 
And then once you've done that, just click save and exit. And then you need to come here to update and then you can view your page. So this works for the bottom curve and the top curve. So the next section I'm going to show you is pretty cool and uh, it requires slightly different uh, steps to achieve this, but pretty much it's copy and paste. And let me show you where you can copy and paste this code. So to achieve this diagonal line going across here on this page, all you need to do is to go into your page. Now you need to go on to the section that you need to add the diagonal line on. And in my case, it's this area where I have the image and the text. So go into your custom CSS and then you need to paste this code on the main element. And then on the after, you need to paste this code. So that's all you need to do for this one. And once you've added this code, basically all you need to do now is to save and exit. And then you need to click update and you need to click on view page to see the effect that has taken place. So that's all you need to do for this one. Now let's move on to the other two, which is the final ones. And they both require pretty much the same steps. Now with this, what you need to do is to um, add a CSS class and then the other code needs to go into the custom CSS section of the website. The next page we're going to look at is this uh, place your order page. And the effect we're trying to achieve is this diagonal line, which has a sort of a shadow here. Okay, so what we need to do is to go to the section where we need to add this effect on. So I'm going to go to the section settings. And then I'm going to go to custom CSS. And this is the CSS class I need to add. So once you've added this code, next what you need to do is to save and exit. Click update. And then you need to go to your custom CSS. And to get there, you need to go to Divi, theme options. And then you need to scroll all the way down here. Okay, so once you've scrolled all the way to the bottom where it says custom CSS, this is where you need to paste the code. And then once you've pasted this code, click on save changes. So if you refresh the page, you should get this effect that we're looking for. So these are the exact same steps you need to take to achieve this triangle on the home page. So as you can see, most of this can be achieved by copying and pasting the code into the right areas. So there you have it. This is how you can achieve 15 different section divider styles for your Divi website. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms because we will be producing more and more of these videos as we count down to the release of Divi 3.0. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode. In this Divi quick tip, I'm going to show you a really easy way to create a rollover image. So a rollover image is an image that changes when you hover over it to display another image. There are a lot of plugins and complicated codes to do this, but you don't need any of this. Firstly, upload your two images to the media library